This is an Excel tutorial about the data filter or auto filter tool. And to give you an example when you would want to use this tool, consider the data in front of you where we have a number of observations. Observations here are employees. We have the salary of each person. We have the work experience of each person and you can see they are either going to have five years or less work experience, six to ten years, or more than ten years work experience. Over here on undergrad degree, they are going to be either ag econ, animal science, or agronomy. And then the last column, uh, whether they have an MS degree, yes means they do have a master's of science degree, no means they don't. And suppose that we wanted to create a histogram for people with an undergrad degree in anything, no master's degree, and more than five years of work experience. To create that histogram, first we would want to go into these data and retrieve only those observations for people with no master's degree and more than five years of work experience. And the best way of doing that is using a data filter tool. And this is something that is useful for a lot of different things. And once you play with it a little bit, you'll see the, the great versatility and value of it. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to just select all of my variable names. You don't have to select the data to just the variable names. Then I'm going to come up to my top menu and I'm going to select data. For instance, if it's on home, you want to go over here and select data. After I select the data, I want to click filter. And after you click filter, if you come down here, you'll notice these little drop down boxes. The filter has already been created. And just observe how I use this, okay? So years of work experience. I click this. And you can see right now it's selected every, all ranges of work experience, but we only want people with more than five years of work experience. So I'm going to remove that chat box. We now only have the checks for the boxes six to ten years and more than ten years of work experience. So that looks good. And then I'm going to come over here for the MS degree and we don't want people who have an MS degree. So I'm going to remove the check for yes which means there's only a check for no, so I'm only going to have people without a master's degree. And if we do this, we see that, if we look through all this data, we see now that uh, people either have more than 10 years or 6 to 10 years of work experience. And the answer for whether they have a master's degree is no. Under, I mean, and now what we want to do, if you wanted to make a histogram of the salaries for these people, you wouldn't want to use these sheet. What you would want to do is create a new sheet and paste these data into that new sheet. So create a new sheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the lower left hand portion of the Excel spreadsheet and next to the name of my sheet, this is named sheet 1, is a little symbol and this symbol means insert worksheet. So I'm going to click that symbol and it creates a new worksheet. After I have that new worksheet, I'm going to go back to my old worksheet and select my filtered data. So first I select the variable names, then I'm going to select all the data beneath it. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go back to my new sheet and I'm going to paste. And when you do this, you'll notice that the observation numbers are off because not all observations were selected. And if you did it right, everybody here would have more than five years of work experience, which they do, and everybody here would have no full master's degree. And now you can use these salary data to create a histogram, and that histogram will tell you about the variability of salaries for people with no master's degree and more than five years of work experience. And of course with those particular animal science, ag econ, and agronomy undergrad degrees.